welcome friends i am dr s megla assistant professor department of microbiology st joseph college of arts and science autonomous kadalur now i am going to talk about sterilization sterilization is defined as the process by which an article surface or medium is freed from all microorganism either in vegetative or spore state aims of sterilization to prevent microbial contamination to maintain aseptic condition to ensure safety from contaminating microorganism classification of sterilization agent there are two types of agents one is physical agent second one chemical agent physical agent heat low temperature radiation filtration osmotic pressure and desiccation sir chemical agent phenol and phenolic compound alcohol halogens heavy metal synthetic detergent quaternary ammonium compounds aldehyde gaseous agents and dye physical agent heat heat is the most reliable method of sterilization materials changed by heat can be sterilized at low temperature for longer periods or by repeated cycle factors influencing sterilization by heat nature of heat whether by dry heat or moist heat dry heat is less effective when compared with moist heat temperature and time shorter the time duration higher is temperature is required number of microorganism present greater the number longer is the duration the characteristics of the organism such as species strains sporing capacity spore former may much heat nature of the contaminated material powders fats and gaseous or impermeable to moist heat cotton fiber rubber and plastics are damaged by dry heat dry heat principles involved in dry heat dry heat is not as effective in killing microorganism as in moist heat microorganism are killed by a destructive oxidation of essential cell constituents protein denaturation and toxic effect of electrolytes killing the moist resistant spores by dry heat a require a temperature of 160 degrees celsius for 2 hours types of dry heat first one flaming or red hot inoculation loop or wires points of forceps spatula or held in the bunsen flame till they become a red hot in order to be sterilized it is a needle mouth of culture tubes glass slides cover slips etc would be passed a few times through the bunsen flame without allowing them to become red hot incineration objects are burnt in direct flame suitable only for disposable item hot air oven the most widely used method of sterilization by dry heat hot air oven is a double walled metal chamber which electrically heated a holding period of 160 degree celsius for 1 hours is used it is used to sterilize glass vases forceps scissors all the glass strengthers swab some pharmaceutical product such as liquid paraffins dusting powder 
fats etc not suitable for fabric materials moist heats principles involved in moist heat moist heat is much more effective than dry heat because it kill microorganism by coagulating and denaturing the enzyme and structural protein sterilization require exposure to moist heat at 121 degree celsius for 15 minutes the major principles involved in moist heat in steam under pressure types moist heat below 100 degree celsius water bath it is used for sterilizing materials which cannot be heated at 100 degree celsius tintolization it involved heating to 100 degree celsius and return to room temperature for three successive days useful for killing spore former pasteurization this process involves control heat treatment it can be carried out in two ways by heating at 63 degree celsius for 10 minutes and by heating 72 degree celsius for 20 seconds this is suitable for juice and milk moist heat at 100 degree celsius boiling the materials in water for 10 to 15 minutes kill all non sporing organism this method is used to sterilize forceps scissor syringe needle gloves etc on atmospheres of free steam is used to sterilize culture media which may be decomposed if subjected to higher temperature this method is an in expensive method steam under pressure the principle of the autoclave or steam sterilizer is that water boils when its vapor pressure equals that of the surrounding atmosphere sterilization by steam under pressure is carried out at temperature between 108 degree celsius and 147 degree celsius several types of steam sterilization are uses laboratory autoclave hospital dressing sterilizer bowl and instrument sterilizer rapid cooling sterilizer radiation the two types of radiation used for sterilization one is non ionizing radiation another one ionizing radiation now we see about non ionizing radiations they have longer wavelength and produces high heat example infrared and uv rays infrared rays are considered as hotter sterilization infrared rays are used for rapid moist sterilization of syringe uv rays is used for disinfecting enclosed areas entry ways hospital wards operation theater laboratories laminar air flow chamber next ionizing radiation this rays are lethal to dna they have very high penetrating power it is called as cold sterilization because it produce low heat it is used for sterilizing plastics syringe swab culture plate uh, animal feeds rubber corkboard oil glazes fabric and metal foils example x ray gamma ray and cosmic ray filtration this is a useful method for sterilizing antibiotic solutions it's a carbohydrate solution vaccines toxins in the preparation of culture media in this method microorganism 
or filter in the filter disk low temperature living process do not appear under 0 degree celsius and this d2 formation of ice crystals in cells ice crystals cut the membrane and coagulate the proteins low temperature does not kill cells rather it inhibit the normal metabolic process of cells organism are considered as dormant low temperature is not considered as sterilization or disinfection low temperature is mainly used for preservation of foods high temperature may be considered as microbicidal and low temperature as microbiostatic desiccation dehydration of microbial cell restrict the metabolic activities of microbes some organisms are resistant to drying many vegetative cells are killed in few hours by drying some microbes survive at dried condition for longer period as an agent of sterilization drying is not adequate desiccation also be considered as microbiostatic osmotic pressure osmosis is diffusion in which a solvent and a small solute molecule pass through semi permeable membrane it leads to equalize the concentration substance of either side of membrane osmotic pressure is the presence that gives rise to the phenomenon of diffusion and osmosis in a solution in which a difference in concentrations exists between inside and outside destruction of cell wall due to the difference in osmotic pressure is called plasmolysis microorganism generally inhibit by high concentration of salt and sugar organism grow in high salt concentration is called as halophiles whether cells grow in high sugar concentration is called as saccharophiles thank you